I've recently picked up some battery management circuits, these little boards here, which will take or manage three or four, this is the three cell version, three 18650 batteries wired in series giving you a 12.6 volt battery pack when they're fully charged at 4.2 volts each. Now that's a great power supply for portable projects, including some of the LED light panels that I've been playing with recently. The trick is with portable power like that using um, lithium ion batteries, is that charging them up and charging them up properly is a little bit tricky, especially when you wanna leave them attached to the device that you're using. With this particular little battery management board, what I can do is I can have three 18650 batteries producing a 12 volt power supply portable and enable me to leave that in place, leave it attached to something like an LED light panel, just connect up an external power supply, the external power supply will power the light panel and properly recharge the three 18650 batteries. So the promise of these little boards and the data on those these boards is a little bit uh, vague at times. However, now that I've got them, I can see that the uh, IC on there is a proper battery management um, IC and there's some power management on there. So these particular boards uh, will take a 12 volt input and they will charge the three 18650 batteries and have a maximum power handling of 10 amps. So that's more than enough uh, input and output current uh, in order to be able to power projects and recharge the batteries and so on. Uh, the wiring diagram for these little boards is as, of, as you can see here on the screen at the moment, uh, everything goes to the positive and negative terminals, the output and input of these boards. Um, that is the input supply as well as the output supply to your project or your LED panel. The three 18650 batteries are then properly charged and managed by that board. It has overcurrent and over voltage protection as well as undercurrent and under voltage protection. So why is that good? Well, in this particular example, as you can see here now, I've got this draining away quite quickly. It's driving the uh, high powered uh, 12 volt LED light panel I made a few episodes ago. It's pulling the power out of the three 18650 batteries with the battery management circuit in place. And as a result, once the voltage drops a little bit below nine, uh, it cuts off the power supply completely. What would happen if you didn't have the BMS in place there, the battery management um, board, is that that voltage would continue to drop and pull those 18650 cells down to two volts or even less, which starts to damage the cell. What you wanna do is you wanna cut them off around about 2.7 to 2.9 volts, which is exactly what this board is doing, which protects the cell and allows you to recover it and charge it properly and keep its life cycle, you know, a good 500, potentially even a thousand recharges per battery. When you seriously discharge them or seriously overcharge them, the problem is they don't last very long at all and you have the potential to start fires because heat becomes a problem, melts the plastic, melts the wiring, catches fire and that's not what we want. So I was hoping with these particular boards that they would have some sort of voltage regulation in there as well. They'll cut themselves off when the voltage gets too high so they take a input voltage anywhere between say 9 volts and 15 volts, that would have been ideal, and they would have given you a nice regulated 12 volt power output. That's not the case, and that's probably fair and reasonable. These are very, very cheap, available for as, as low as $2.90 on eBay. So as a result, they do not have voltage regulation. So the input voltage range is fairly tight. You wanna get between, um, 12 and 12.6 volts and ideally they want 12.6 volts to give 4.2 volts as a maximum input to each of the 18650 cells. If you put in less it lowers the voltage going to 18650 cells. It doesn't multiplex and give 4.2 volts to one then to another then to another. Um, it applies the charging across the board so if you only give it 12 volts 
there is only a maximum of four volts going to each of the three cells. Okay, so this board itself, great for managing the batteries and charging them up. It doesn't have a uh, regulated output, so the voltage is going to vary when the batteries start to drop, but that paired with a really good voltage regulator is going to be a great portable power solution. The ability to leave three 18650 batteries as a 12 volt supply inside of one of your projects, and you can just connect external supply and power your project and charge back up your battery supply inside. Uh, is going to be a great solution for things like the lighting panels that I'm, I'm working on next. That's uh, two studio LED high powered light panels with battery power as a backup, very similar to the Amaran 672 series, I think it is. And I want to be able to properly manage and properly charge and maintain for the life of the battery the 18650 power supply in there safely. So that's what that's for. I'll find a suitable power regulator and I'll be working on those LED light panels next. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe. And I hope you'll join me again next time.